Okay, again, no time to explain. You'll figure out as we go along. This is 71 versus 95. Okay. Fairly even. 95 seems to have the edge, but it's not embarrassing. Come on. Pretty even, but 95 has the edge. We'll call 95 the winner. Okay. This is 78 versus 65. Oh dear, 65, very strong. Come on, 78. Okay. Let's try again. Well. Okay, we have to, oh yeah, we definitely have to call 65 the winner there. Here's 54 versus 70. 70 seems to be the clear winner. I will note that 70's rear prong has kicked out much further than 54. Yeah, it's... Just trying some different things here, folks. Okay, we'll call 70. It's not bad, but we'll call 70 the winner here. This is 79 versus 99. That's actually fairly even. I have to call this a tie. Get a nice, satisfying pop when they hit, when their bases hit each other. I like that. Okay, we're going to call this a draw. 96 versus 66. Oh, wow, 66 seems to have the clear advantage here. And that was actually a much better result as far as matching strength. Call 66 the winner. Here's 63 versus 25. I'll be curious to see if this posture, this with outstretched arms, gives 63 an advantage. Not as such. Pretty even, it looks like. Now, this is not the same base as 63 was on in the speed trials or in whatever we did in the last video. That time he uh, dominated. Let's try again. He's knocking down 25. Isn't that something? Let's try it one more time. Okay. I'm going to give this one to 63. And I don't think it's because this figure weighs more than that one. I, or because of the posture. I think it's the result of the base itself. Okay. 64 versus 77. Oh, that's pretty cut and dry, isn't it? Note that 64 is not... Uh, it's got a loop in the base, which is why we have uh, the figure position. I wonder if that has anything bearing on on strength. We'll need to monitor that. Well, he's, he's losing pretty consistently here. Okay, 77 wins. Here we have 90 versus 40. 90 is barely dominant. I wouldn't really stress that in a typical uh, scrimmage play. That, on the other hand, that's the second base that's managed to knock another base over. That's a new element here that, I mean, that's you know potential injury right there, so... Inclined to give this one to 90. Yeah, yeah, definitely 90. Okay, second round. 79 was one of the was the tie. So this is 95 versus 79. Say that's pretty good. Um, that's what I like to see right there. Pretty evenly matched. Almost, you know, 
we're going to have to call this a tie. Okay. There's 65 versus 99, and 99 was the other tie in the first round. Here we go. Ah, 99 seems maybe just a little tougher. Oh, that's a deadlock. That is a clear deadlock. So, probably call this a tie as well. And that's fine, folks. I'd rather have ties, if I'm honest. It's a close one, isn't it? 65 might have the advantage, but we're going to call this a tie as well. Okay. 70... Versus 66. Now, in this case, 70 seems pretty dominant. You know, I say pretty dominant. I mean, he did push him back, but it's not. Eh, I have to give this one to 70. So here's the winner. 70 versus 95. This is round three. Okay, he seems to be pushing back 95 as well. Maybe 95 is strong. That's more even match, I think. Well, you know, after a second or two, 70 is, is pushing 95 back pretty consistently. I don't know. What do you think? Let's just go ahead and... We'll call it a draw. Although I really feel like 70 probably won that. Now let's compare 70 against the other winners in round two. 70 versus 79. Okay, again, he, he did push him back just for a moment. So... You know, again, I would probably... It's not, it's not embarrassing, but I would probably uh, give the edge to 70. But that's not really the, the, uh, the goal of this, so let's keep going. 70 versus 99. I don't think we have already done this one. If we have, that's fine. Okay, 70's winning. Yeah, okay, we'll give that to 70 as well. 65 versus 70. Okay, well, looks like 70 wins the, uh, that's actually pretty close. Looks like 70 is the strongest base of the linemen, but now we need to go back and do the, uh, backers. Okay, 63 versus 70. Oh, okay. Okay, that's actually what, I, I feel like the linemen should be stronger than the backers, so I'm okay with this result. The backer is trying to, to dig in there, isn't he? This would also be a, an offensive tackle or possibly a defensive end. So, I mean, that's okay. You want your your classic Fab Five lineman figures to be strongest, strongest of all. So I'm okay with this result. Okay. So presumably that uh, backer figure would be evenly matched with some of these other linemen figure who uh, uh, this base was winning against. Now here's 70 versus 77. Okay. So far so good. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Next. 70 versus 90. That's all right. And one more time just for... Consistency. Yeah, 70 is a little stronger than 90. 90 might actually perform a little better than some of the losers in the our little tournament here. That would be okay as well. We might check a few of those later. In fact, let's do that now. 90 versus 54. 54 was eliminated either in the first or second round. So, an offensive tackle is pushing back a, a center. You know, you put him at nose guard, quarterback's got problems. I mean, 
mean, he's he's holding well enough, but that could open some penetration for linebackers to squeeze through and cause some trouble. On the other hand, it could also open a hole for a running back to <laughs> dive down the middle and put gain positive yardage. All right, we'll stick with 90 here. 90 versus 96. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I think 90 is what we'll use for our control uh, in the next phase, which is to make sure that none of the faster bases are actually stronger than the strong bases. 90 versus 53. 53 is a linebacker, inside linebacker. Okay, that's consistent with what I would want. Also, he could he could be a tight end as well, an all-purpose figure like this, so that's good. Okay. 90 versus 10. Okay, and 10, of course, is a quarterback. So this is pretty uh, indicative. I'm just worried that with cardboard, you might get some fast bases that are also very strong, which would be great for fullbacks or tight ends, but... Um, I've got to try to figure out why that happens, if it happens. Um, with this new design, we haven't come across any. We might, and that's why we're doing this. But not this one. Moving on. 90 versus 7. Okay. 7 is a quarterback, or a kicker, or a punter. Or a wide receiver, for that matter. He's not as fast as... I'd like for a wide out. All right, next. Here we have 52 versus 90. 52 is an inside linebacker. That's a fairly... Uh, fairly even, but 90 does have the advantage, and I'm okay with that. Remember, 90 is not the strongest strong base, so... Um, 70. Well, we might compare some of these with 70 as well if there's time. Moving on. 90 versus 27. This could be either a running back or a defensive back, a safety or a uh, uh, more likely a corner back. Okay. Okay, well, he's not stronger than 90, so that's consistent. He's not getting terribly bullied either, is he? Uh, try one more time. Yeah. Okay. I'm not unhappy with that result. Moving along. 90 versus 39. Uh, this is a, a safety, probably a strong safety. Uh, could also be uh, a cornerback. Could also be a running back. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary here, so. These bases seem to hold well against each other for the most part. Okay, 39 seems the strongest of the bunch. We're going to put it aside for a few moments. 90 versus 24, which is either a, a halfback or a fullback. If it's strong, I'll make it a fullback. Uh, or a cornerback. Let's see. No, 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 no. So that's a halfback. Uh. Okay. Now, we've only got a couple more to go. 90 versus 17. This is a wide out. A reasonably strong wide out, but he's not dominating. I'm I'm just watching out for anomalies where a fast base is just plowing over a strong base, um, which has not happened yet. So, okay. Seventeen is holding its own, and I couldn't tell you what makes this fast base strong. I have no idea. Like I said every one of these cardboard bases is a little different. But okay, uh, let's put 17 against 39 real quick to see which among them are stronger. Um, just out of curiosity here. 
Well, that's inconclusive. Let's try again. These are both the um, same type of figure, so they may hit helmets head on. That might be causing the deflection. Yeah, this is going to be tough. This might be tough to figure out because they literally hit helmets before the bases collide. <laughs> See what? <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's move on to uh, the last figure here. 90 versus 41. Okay, well, there's my fullback for this squad, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Now I want to test 41 against uh, 36. Make that 39 versus 41. Well, 39 seems to have a better, a stronger base than 41. Actually, you know, these figures get wrapped up because of their arm placements, so. They may touch, they may have helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact on every play as well. But as you can see, 39 is pushing 41 back, so... I might think about swapping out their bases. Let's see who's faster. It's one of those cases where maybe 39 is stronger and faster. That's the kind of things I'm looking out for. Making that like the franchise player, really. Whoever's on that base. It's not, there's not a huge disparity in speed, is there? There's just a little more variance right now on 41 than 39. That's very interesting. Now, let's compare 39 with some of the losers in the first and second round on the lineman trials and the linebacker trials. 39 versus 54. Oh dear. Yeah, these, this is what I don't want. I don't want this safety be able to just plow straight through the uh, offensive and defensive line. Oh dear. Okay, next. 39 versus 78. Well, I think this base should definitely be a fullback rather than a safety. He's actually really dominating that one. Okay, next. 39 versus 71. Oh dear. Again, we may be having helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact before the base is touched. That's exactly what's happening. Right. Okay, looks like I got about four linemen that aren't very strong at all. 39 versus 96. Ah, that was a little... You know, there's hope. So there are varying degrees of strength. With these cardboard bases. And this is what you have to do to figure it out. 39 versus 40. Oh, man. It's just a really strong, fast base. I don't think this is the fastest, though. Okay. Now, all these uh, past few figures have been the losers in the first and second rounds of the strength trials, so... I'm not expecting any of these bases to actually beat 39. 39 is not the strongest, in fact. 39 versus 70. You know, I said he's not the strongest, but he's holding 70, and 70 was the strongest lineman and backer of the whole bunch. This was the tournament winner, so to speak. Yep, 39. Yeah, okay, that's more indicative of what you would expect. Okay. So, in terms of raw strength, this is the best base out of this batch we've been dealing with for the past few videos. And in terms of overall performance, this is the best base. Let's compare speeds now. You know, they were not dissimilarly matched in strength, but as far as speeds... Pretty cut and dry, so... I'm just going to look at this base closely to try to figure out why it's performing so much better 
than uh, all the other basses. Not to say the other ones aren't performing well at all. They are. Um, no, this was the only surprise out of the whole bunch that I've uh, just tested here for strength. I think this is one of the bases that was originally on maybe number 63, the Mean 13 figure with his arms outstretched, That, or maybe one of the uh, um, other linemen that I decided to put on a fast player from the previous video. Well, the bottom line is that there's no huge aberrations other than one or two of these fast bases are actually stronger than some of the weaker strong bases. It's important to identify those for use for a tight end or a fullback or maybe even a returner. Well, anyway, this, uh, this exercise helped me a whole lot. I hope it helps others as well. I'll see you soon.